Hello everybody, this is Gap Base Games, and welcome back to Crossout with another Let's Build with a budget build. And we're going to just go right into the build, and we've got a quad goblin build here. So first up the frames, and the first two goblins are going underneath. I got a non-light frame and six lightweight frames to do a force, but wait, those are for weight reduction. This one you do want to keep for full health because it's a really important one. Because of the mounting, because of the growl cabin, it only mounts to this frame. So first the wheels, uh, both sides, uh, small steering wheels in the front and medium size in the rear. This is currently what I got for setup, but I was actually for some different thing at first because at first I was going for triple and then going for one spitfire, but later on I changed it to put in two comments underneath. Try to like, uh, like, like make the armor look a little bit good. And uh, right here we got a cooler and a goblin. So we, there we go for the quad goblins. That's how the layout is. We got the two coolers and an improved radiator in the back. And uh, we got some. This is why actually I'm using like um, mini wheels instead of light wheels. So I got this little armor skirt going on and here we go for the top armor it's not too complicated got some small comp armor skirts and that actually is it and oops that wasn't one cut receipt too much because they didn't want to have to paint so actually the other option is uh having medium wheels i mean i guess it works too but it's a little bit massive makes it look a little bit big. I do kind of like the small wheels, so that's why I'm going to stick with that. So actually, I'm just going to control C this stuff. There we go. I'm going to just kind of take it out into battle. Um, I'm not that experienced with goblins, so I'll probably make some gameplay tactic-wise mistakes with this build. Um, like, I'm trying to go for hit and run, like hit a few guys and run away. So, that's basically my take on the Goblin build. Um, if you think you can do better, you can probably you probably can. So, yeah. It's been a while since I played Crossout anyways. So, uh... Been sick and whatnot. But there we go. Triple hover, triard builds. First things I see when I get back. Oh, hello. I uh, built wasting ammo on me. Sure. Go ahead. There's no radar or radar detector going on here. Drone builds are still alive, it looks like. Doesn't look like I'll be having to get close just yet. Looks like I have been spotted though. And I'm retreating backwards here. Oh, hello. That's a lot of firepower coming my way. Tree piercers. Piercers are actually really nasty nowadays. And the team got stomped there. I think I put the game volume down a little bit. And uh, let's go into the next match. Let's hope it goes a little bit better then. Probably should add a radar in the back, but this is already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rares. Uh, I did not put in a generator this time. Probably the better setup would be with a hazardous generator and a duster. 
Like, to begin with, this is an upgradable system. We're, we're getting better generator. And better equipment in the back. Cloaking, maybe. A lot of other options. And that's just a little bit glitchy on the ground there, as you guys can see that. I can see right through that little plate. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. Stay behind the wall. Well, this goes away. Sure, I'll... I'll take you out. Thank you. Okay, let's deal with the turrets. Down with him. Got a little meta shift towards these stupid machine guns. Ah. Goblins are still definitely powerful. Okay, looks like he's over there. Oh, he's dead. Did I got that VP sticker there? Nice. Yep, oh, there we go. FAP. <laughs> three kills. One tree, tree, tree. I think that's fitting. Trying to draw the tree. My tree kills. I only got two kills across their team. Ouch. There's a probably only those two bots. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Bridge is always a little bit harder to play with shotguns. So I'm just showing off a few matches to show what this thing's a bit about, a bit out controls and speed of maneuverability as across towards like more heavily armored growl builds. You can see me being slightly faster in this bigger here. Let's go back that guy up. I don't want to get a firing range of that machine gunner. Or cannon here. I don't know what this guy's weapon use is, but... I am not comfortable right here. Let's get the hell. Out of here, storm forward, get behind the enemy. Okay, assassination complete. Oh, he has explosives underneath there. Ouch. Why did I got this guy? Come on. Oh, this guy again. Oh, God. Go on, turn. Jeez, all the drones. Ah, drone! Ah! That's probably still a turret. Yep. Deal with it. MVP again. <laughs> what? Am I, okay, that's probably because of the recent reset of the promo account. Promo accounts occasionally got reset it, progress wise. We still got all the items and whatnot, but they randomly say like, Oh, you're prestige hero again, you lose all your stickers, and you lose all your those rewards. That's like really weird ass <laughs> with those things. 
don't really play that much with the promotional account outside of videos anyways, so, uh, yeah. I mean, I hardly play, like, anything outside War Thunder Naval CBT right now in my own playtime. That's mainly because of my girlfriend, actually, but, uh, too busy with her. <laughs> Having fun in our own uh, course offline. Looks like we'll be going this way, I guess. Don't care about your shotguns, you're out of range. There goes a shotgun. Do I see a generator there? Yes, I do. Well, not anymore, actually. Oh jeez, what's that for monstrosity? <laughs> At least my weapons are like uh, uh, resistant against melee. And that guy suicide under me. Oh well, up on my way. Okay, go away. Thank you. That guy isn't going anywhere. That guy is having pretty bad build, to be honest. I mean, sure, he's fast. He has a turret, but why do a turret and machine gun? And having such a bulky cabin, such a small vehicle. Trying to increase your speed on a relatively slow cabin. Like, take a quick cabin so you have more. If, it would, if that guy would just switch to growl already, you would have had an upgrade. are deploying freaking hovers. What do you want to do? Got MVP again. Built's pretty good, actually. Did have had some time in getting it a little bit better for you guys than the most average builds. But the builds, like, what it lacks in expensive equipment, these guys make up in good design. Know that at the same power score, if I make something with the expensive equipment, it will probably the expensive equipment will probably be roughly the same, but it might outclass these builds at the same power score. I mean, guys, this thing is under four thousand power score. Four goblins. It is pretty powerful. I mean, you got to uh, put in a hardcore for extra speed, but... What? <laughs> okay. Sure. Spare belts. You again. Oh, this guy. Must have, must have, must hate me by now. I'm probably gonna be dead here in a second. Yep, there I go. I think I'm gonna keep it at that, guys, actually. Been a few matches. Recording's going for on for a little while now. So yeah, there is room for upgrade, definitely. Um, this thing is oh, just over 50 parts, but if you want to save parts, uh, let's say, I would say probably changing up these, like that, and just removing these two parts here. 
Let's do 47. And then just switching out tires, I guess, is an option. I mean, it makes it look a little bit bulky, but you do get a little bit more road performance. Go down to 45. 42 is it right that you have to take it down to? Uh, it's not really under ca cabin space. Uh, I'll probably do that then. Now you might actually want to cut these two entirely. And swap out these two for a standard bumper. That's also an option. You go down to 42 parts. Probably just like just enough to go down for the lower levels. So this is like a medium level requirement. Like you do have to level up a little bit, but I mean in the meanwhile having got four equal rares. I mean the car we'll be getting anyways. Uh, these ones you will not be getting that soon, most of the time. So like three rares. Seven rares that are kind of harder to get, and then one that you will be getting anyways at some point or another. Makes it a pretty decent build. Currently with, let's check the market. Rare weapons. Goblins, about 40 a pop, so that's a 120. 120, 160, uh, 170, wait, 190, I mean, sorry guys, 190, 220, let's say 250 coins, give or take. You probably, you're, you'll probably be able to get this vehicle for 250 coins, and taken that how you can at least, if you do your daily challenge for the 200 scrap metal, and let's say in the meanwhile you grab an additional 100 scrap metal in that time, and you do that daily, you can get about 15 coins a day, which means you'll be taking 15 to 20 days to get this full day built. With nothing else and just that. If you do your season, uh, sell your chests from the time challenges. Uh, I mean, even if you just like lock in every, once every three days and just do everything at once. If you're like accounting playtime instead of actual days, you can probably make it even more efficient. Well, this thing is really not too hard to get, and if you like shotguns, it will serve you well for quite a while. I I would say I I still like myself still prefer junk bows, simply because I just not, I'm just a fanatic of junk bows. <laughs> I really like enjoy my junk bows. You guys know that by now. But yeah, that's that. Said. I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys all later. Bye guys.